Cherokee 140 pre-flight video. So we approach the plane, take the plugs out, come around the back of the wing. Always use the step and this handle to get back to get up on that plane. We don't want to step on the wing flap portion even though there's a even though there's a uh, black spot on it for the step. So right here we just unlock this so it's down. There's a little handle here. Pull the door open. We'll come in. We'll notice the controls are locked. We'll put the cow plugs just in the back seat for now. We'll unlock the controls with this buckle. Go ahead and just slide that up there like that. We'll reach down, three clicks on this, one, two, three. That puts the wing flaps down like that. All right, we'll turn the master switch on. Just that little red switch, I just flipped it on. Come over here. Right here, we're just checking two things. The fuel gauges, so left tank's reading about 15, right tank's reading about five. Let me just check to make sure the beacon light's flashing. Can't really see it in the video, but it is. Master switch off. And the beacon switch is right here. We always leave that on in case we forget the uh, battery is on. Next, we check for the airworthiness certificate. Registration's right behind it. POH is right in here. And there's the weight and balance right there, paper clipped in. That looks good. We come back here to the back seat. All right. Uh, there's this little uh, container. Uh, we're going to reach in. We're going to grab a fuel stick and a fuel cup right here. So, a couple fuel sticks in this plane. That's good. We'll come back in. We'll just close the door in case it gets windy. Walk down the step. Looks good. So, we always start here and end here at the door. So checking the wing flap right here, making sure it's connected, nothing's broken. Come down, we're just checking the surface and all the skins for breaks and uh, tears, things missing. Come check the aileron out, right? Make sure the aileron looks good. Right here, four uh, screws and a little pin going through. The next connection point, four screws and a pin going through. Step out wide to the wing tip. The light cluster is intact. Looks good. Leading edge of the plane. I'm going to come right down here to the tie down. We're going to untie this. I'm doing it with one hand so I can video. It's not the easiest. So, excuse me for taking a few seconds. You can fast forward this part if you really want to. These uh, <clears throat> ropes are a little bit damp from today, so it's a little fog all day. So, one tie down is good. This is the fuel vent. If the fuel tank's overfilled, that will uh, be dripping. Right here is a carter pin we're checking for tire inflation and tread looks good come around the brake assembly so you have the uh, the brake uh, uh, pads are in this housing there's this line that goes right up the back that's where the brake fluid would drip out so just make sure nothing's leaking nothing looks like it was on fire we'll come right here to the fuel sump so we take this we put the little cup on hold it up fill it up about halfway fuel. It's going to look blue and clear. It doesn't look like salad dressing. Okay. And we're going to undo the fuel cap. Pour the fuel back in. Looks good. Sump the fuel tank. All right. Right there. It reads about 14 gallons. So that's about what I said. Gauge, so 
come here right here we're gonna um, keep my hand kind of on it my elbow one-handed pop this open looking good we're gonna check in the uh, engine compartment carburetor uh, heat shroud all right we have uh, uh, air vent which lets uh, 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 heating go through magnetos oil filter vacuum pump we're gonna check the oil make sure there's no birds nests checked all that stuff looks good right down there this uh, doohickey kind of see it that's the carburetor for those who do not know what a carburetor looks like check the oil looks black See if we can get this to focus. It says about six quarts. Looks good and keep it at six. That's perfectly fine. Excuse the bad video right there. Coming around, stepping away from the prop arc, feeling gently along the prop, checking the spinner, making sure the screws are all in. Looks good. Feeling the prop. Checking the cowls, uh, the cow holes, making sure that there's no nests. Checking the tire for tread inflation and checking right here, making sure it's got about, the video doesn't really show well, but it's about uh, three or four fingers of inflation on the strut. Looks good. Step away from the prop arc again. Come over here. Check out the, uh, the side of the plane. No bird's nests, brake fluid reservoir. The other side of the muffler and the exhaust, some oil hoses, and those orange hoses. So, with these latches, make sure you dig it in at a 90 degree angle and catch it underneath so that this little lip gets caught. That's important. Right down here, we're going to sump this gascolator bowl, lowest point in the fuel system. All right, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to come over here and check the tire the brake assembly and everything and I'm gonna sump this fuel spot as well fuel looks good looks blue all right since I'm down here I'm just gonna check the vent and after I uh, get this thing out of my hand I'll make sure I untie that tie down so twist that pour the gas back in try to spill as little as possible drop the stick straight down all right, that was showing about 20 gallons, so 15 to 20. The fuel gauges, you'll note, didn't reflect that. One looked like it had five gallons. The floats aren't that good in them, so the uh, it's not better because you can untie it with one hand. So two people tied the plane down last time, so there's two different knots. We always want to do this one teach you later. There's a tie down, so the fuel vent. This is the pitot mast. So this part is the pitot. This is the static hull, which you can't really see. It's kind of dark. should lighten it up. And the static hull. Right around the back is that itsy bitsy drain port right there. Alright. Making sure those aren't plugged. Everything's looking good. Uh, stall horn indicator. It's not a horn, a stall light indicator on this plane. Coming around, checking the light cluster, the fiber optics, so you can see that it's working at night. Four screws, a pin, it's kind of just reversed from here. Four screws, a pin. Wing flap looks good. Flaps connected. Nothing on the uh, power plant, fuselage, empennage, and uh, rudder assembly looks like it's falling off. We'll approach the stabilator. Stabilator, the whole assembly moves, including the trim tab, which is right here. Check connections on that, right there. Looks good. Five spots it's connected. That looks good. All right, come down here. Another one of these good knots that you can untie one-handed with ease so that the camera doesn't bounce all around and look awful. All right, underneath to make sure this tail tie down's not too banged up or broken. Everything looks pretty good on the back of the plane. Come around the stabilizer, the stabilator. Uh, check the uh, vertical uh, stabilizer with the rudder. So vertical stab rudder. There's the beacon light, VOR antennas. Okay, uh, tail number. And 
that's it. So we're good to go. That's the pre-flight for the Cherokee 140.